history that has haunted our memories for more than 20 years. What happened to Katie Eggleston? The young woman had her whole life ahead of her when suddenly she vanished on a summer day. And over the years, there have been clues, leads, even sightings. But nothing has led to Katie. Tonight in a coin six unsolved, we look back on the case of Katie Eggleston. August 2nd, 1993, 22-year-old Katie Eggleston arrives to work at Allnet Communications in Lake Oswego. Katie had just started working there two months after graduating from Oregon State. After a morning sales meeting, employees of the Burger King near the Lloyd Center remember seeing Katie eating lunch there. Her next stop, a sales appointment at the old Port of Portland building just three blocks away. Katie was wearing business attire. Later, a customer noticed Katie getting off the elevator in the lobby. She was with a young man in a blue blazer. He may have been the last person to see Katie. At 2.15 that afternoon, Katie Eggleston vanished. When she didn't return home that night, friends and family worried. And then a frightening discovery. At midnight, a security guard found Katie's car in the parking lot of this industrial building on Northeast Airport Way. The car was unlocked, the keys were in the ignition, Katie's purse, her wallet, all the contents in the front seat. Worry about Katie now turned into panic. For the next three days, friends and family searched the area where her car was found. They rented a helicopter. Police used bloodhounds. Nothing turned up. We were digging through blackberry bushes and, um, and weeds and just looking for anything. Treasure Lewis and Jason Eppel were among Katie's best friends. They all attended OSU together. Someone's missing. It's not like someone was in a car accident or something. You know, it was just like someone's missing. After a few days, the search ended. Clues and leads became dead ends. Days turned into weeks. Months turned into years. More than two decades later, the case of Katie Eggleston remains unsolved. I think in the first couple weeks, there was still optimism that something would be found. You know, that I didn't, I didn't think this would go on for 22 years. When you hear the name Katie Eggleston, it's very personal to you, isn't it? It is. We uh, went to college together at Oregon State and knew her a little bit, lived next door. And uh, a month before I got hired as a police officer, she went missing. Portland Police Sergeant Pete Simpson is haunted personally by Katie's disappearance. Our cold case investigators have the case. They periodically get tips or people call in information, uh, like a lot of our cases, and they track it down. At this point, though, there's, you know, nothing really helping them reach that resolution that the family and friends would like to see. A mystery not solved, but Katie's friends are convinced they know what happened. I really, truly believe that it was somebody she knew. Had it been a stranger, there would have been a big fight. Um, there's no way that somebody would have just grabbed Katie and hauled her off and killed her uh, without a major fight. While all of us have grown older, the image of Katie stays the same. 22 years old, frozen in time. Trezor and Jason often have the same dream about Katie. Her favorite color was purple. I used to have these dreams that she would come back in a purple. Yeah. Sorry. So, no. Just a tragedy. Every once in a while, I have a dream that she's in, and we're like trying to ask her questions about. You know, where are you? Where have you been? What happened? But she never says anything, you know? There's never any closure. But dreams aren't real. And 22 years after she vanished, the case of Katie Eggleston remains unsolved. I'd love closure. I'd love for to know what happened. But I don't think we'll ever know. Now, several years ago, there was one promising lead in Katie's case. Joel Courtney was convicted in the kidnapping and death of Brooke Wilberger in Corvallis. And there were similarities between what happened to Brooke and what happened to Katie. But Portland police say, based on the investigation so far, detectives do not have a reason to suspect Joel Courtney has any connection to Katie's disappearance. And Jennifer, while doing research and interviews for this story, another name came to light involving someone who knew Katie. Mm. And detectives are now looking into that. We pass that information on to investigators. They're following up 
and we'll keep everybody posted. Yeah, you said they're going to go and, and do some digging into yeah. that new lead. Yeah. We certainly hope for some